morning from Amsterdam guys. We just flew in last night. We basically had just enough time to get some dinner and watch that new Anne Hathaway movie which we both rated a 5 star out of 10 but we just made it to our stop for the Kuchenhof Garden because Chelsea's never seen the tulips before. I saw it a couple of years ago when I was solo backpacking here and it, they were absolutely stunning but today is the last day for them so hopefully they still look gorgeous and I actually didn't do the Kuchenhof one last time. I did this place called Fam Flower Farm so we'll see what this one's all about but Chelsea's so excited. <laughs> We're in the spring court. Cameron, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> Mentally in my head, I'm like, guys, where are you? Save me, please. I don't want to marry this Tamlin man. And then we just finished doing the Kuchenhof tulip fields, which a lot of the tulips were dead, unfortunately. But um, I'll insert in some clips of what the gardens look like because it was still very like ethereal, very good vibes. It gave spring court and ad guitar, but it was really cool. We did that and then we stopped by this Stroop waffle place for Chelsea and now we're at the vegan junk food bar and we're gonna get some food before Chelsea has a cheese tasting. I feel like she does a cheese tasting every city we go, but this is the place to try it. So, but Chelsea did not like the Stroop waffle. This is, this is mid, don't get it. Thanks so much. Ever seen that, Chelsea? <laughs> that was my favorite movie growing up. I've watched it literally. <laughs> you know what movie I was obsessed with? The Spider Wake Chronicles. That's a newer movie, though. Mm, it's like 2008. Really? Yeah. Such a cute neighborhood. Chelsea and I are just so exhausted. Our feet hurt from doing Kuchenhof this morning. So we're just exploring a little area here before we catch our Uber to a little history boat tour that we last minute booked just now. We're doing a boat tour tomorrow as well, but that one's more like sunset. This one's more based around the history of the city, which I feel like is good to know, especially because the city is just so unique. So that'll be fun. And then by the time that that's done, It'll be time for our museum tour. So we're gonna hit the Moko Museum and then possibly do Vondel Park. So nice. And we have the little dog, that's so sweet. The amount of dogs that we've seen around all of these cities, it just, oh, it makes me miss my dog at home. Zoe, I miss you. I've been texting my mom every day. I'm like, please send me pictures of my baby girl. I need to see her. This cute little photo. And then she sent me that she was running around in the yard. How sweet, I miss her so much. So it's our second day in Amsterdam. We just got some food from St. John's and we're in this cute little neighborhood just eating, but the flowers are so fragrant. It smells, uh, it smells like when you go to a greenhouse. 
We walked like 20,000 steps yesterday. I looked, it was like 18,600 steps. Yeah, it was a lot. Mm -hmm. So yesterday yeah. we were done. We were <laughs> absolutely done. So yeah, we're just kind of vibing, but this is the fit of the day. This is top is from Rumored. Pants are from Dish. Nike 550s and my Bottega dupe from Anthropology, which unfortunately is like busting at the seams. I don't know why this is happening. I've only really worn it this trip. Chelsea's looking for a book to read at the park because we both forgot them at our accommodation. She's gonna get this. And I think I'm just gonna listen to an audiobook because I am so in deep in Assassin's Blade that I cannot fathom starting another fantasy series. So I'm gonna read maybe a, um, let's see what audiobooks I have. Let's see. I have that book by Emily Ratajkowski and a couple other really good ones. I think I'm just gonna read one of these on my list. Oh, yeah. I've also been wanting to read The Inheritance Games, so maybe I'll read that. After this, we're headed to a little supermarket so we can get some snacks, and then we're gonna rent bikes and go to Vondel Park. I'll make you your mimosa, Kim. Oh, yes, please, thank you. I'm breaking my three-year streak of drinking alcohol. Probably we'll go back to being sober after this, but I figure in my 20s, I need to try things, and I have never had a mimosa, I've never had all of those things, so now's the best time. It's like classy drinking where we're at the park, reading books, like that's more of my drinking vibe. Doing European city right. Yeah. This is, look at those houses. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. I like sharp cheese. I do too. today is that it's already 3 12 so we have until nine o'clock to do our boat tour our sunset boat tour and then we're gonna go to the red light district after that but until then we're pretty much just vibing we went to this really cute bookstore we picked up some food at the market and then came here we've been here for like an hour just having girl chat and it's just so fun like I was telling Chelsea that your 20s are the time to try new things and I just feel like it's so nice to travel with someone that isn't, you know, you're not fighting with, you just get along with and there's no drama, you guys like to do the same things, you know, just same, similar vibes, similar vibes because we're both also not huge city people so I feel like we have a lot of the same things that we like to do. Oh, we walked around the Jordan neighborhood which was really nice. I like, love that neighborhood. Oh my god, the birds are insane. <laughs> These are the birds from the Hunger Games, literally when she's screaming. So, yeah. Doesn't sound right. things which is so true <laughs> treat your besties like better than you would your man that's not what I always better. say <laughs> better than you would your man a bottle of whiskey for the way and I guess who's heading to the red light district Ooh. <laughs> 